For hole number six, we are going to start with the rock, stretch out to max, find the left side of the white ring to be by the rough line to the left. We're adding two left spin and four and a half bar of top spin. Then we're swapping to a P5 win three ball, such as the luminary. We also want to play with the thorn. The reason for the thorn is to allow for um, less rings on the approach. Now I'm pushing the rings. You can pull the rings as well, but the trees are in not a good place in my opinion uh, for pulling the rings then we need to start higher up but then obviously the drive if will if so be changed completely slow needle one and a half ball of left curl and try to hit perfect intention here is to uh, bounce on the fairway and cut the corner give ourselves a room for at least a single great left. A single great right will be very close to the rough line because the fairway slopes left to right. And that was the tricky part with this drive that regardless where you start here, if you even if you start uh, further back or you start higher up, it's still going to be that the fairway slopes left to right. So coming in with too much top swing will most likely roll the ball uh, into the rough on the right. So playing up to play for a thorn on the second shot. On the second shot, we are going to do a top white ring uh, fringe check where the fringe meets the green. And we're gonna play with two backspin, a hard two backspin always. Ball guideline just into the hole. And uh, once we have found that spot, we are going to use 42% slider with no elevation, P5 numbers. And that is from plus five and plus six. We are pulling from the clearing always, and then we do center the ball. And a perfect ball here will have a very good chance for, uh, for a drop. Get our guide for the Tour Championship for Expert and Master Division at patreon.com slash golfclashtommy. Scan the QR code on the screen or use the link in the description down below.